Hey everyone, this is Carmen from CarmenMasterPure.com. Today I want to talk about cold emailing and how you get better ROI, better response rates, better conversion rates with cold emailing. Because I've been cold emailing now for you know, a few years, I own two marketing agencies and cold emailing is a great way to get your foot in the door, get clients, and it can be a really quick way to start making some revenue and getting some leads. But the problem I've noticed and I've been there myself and open experience is a lot of people aren't cold emailing right. They're being too salesy, they're trying to like sell their service like in the first email. And I've been there myself, I've, I've done it and you know, I've split tested a ton of different uh, subject lines, just overall approaches, actual you know emails of text or bodies of text rather. And I just wanna talk about what's worked for me and what's gotten me uh, quite a bit of good clients in cold emailing. So I'm just here in a, a little spreadsheet I made I'm gonna blur it out because I have people's names and emails in here, but it's just something I've used to stay a bit organized. And the first thing you need when you're cold emailing is a list of leads. You know, there's so many ways to do this. You can use Zoom info, you can, you know, use other services where you purchase lists. But overall, you need a way to essentially find people that could be using your service. So, what I like to do is uh, actually use a service called Hunter.io. So, after I have my list of leads, I essentially put in their websites into here so you can type whatever you want let me look up one of these guys and essentially what's going to do is give you the people's names and their position typically it might tell you their linkedin and their social media but overall this is amazing so you can instantly find the decision makers of any business so essentially you put your lead in here their website and then you can find the exact person you need so if you're trying to target sales find the sales vp if you need marketing, find the marketing VP, etc. Right? So essentially, I'll get the email of who I need to contact, and then I'll plug it into my uh, my list here of leads, and then I use HubSpot to essentially actually send out the emails. I actually have it open right now, and I was doing a little bit of emailing, which kind of sparked this video and got me thinking. But essentially, I go from the the list of websites that I collect, I scrape, and then I put them into Hunter.io, get the emails. I actually put those back into a separate spreadsheet file which I import into HubSpot if you can follow along and that's when I contact them but I think the big thing with making a successful cold email campaign is one targeting the right people like I said the sales VP whoever you need to target like don't be sending emails to like the generic hello at info at some websites only have those so you know I had to suffice but for the most part you need to be talking to real people and you need to make your emails not salesy and very personable. So I'm just going to show you an email I sent out, um, let's say to this guy, this business. And it's really straight to the point. And this is what, what's worked for me. And I'm still continuing to split test different strategies. But just to show you what has been doing pretty well lately. If I can find the email I sent them, it's really, really simple. And there we go. So hey Rocco, I'm sorry to bother you, but I had a quick question. Would you be as so kind of tell me who's in charge of the blog for their business and how I could contact them? Warm regards, Carmen. Always make sure you have like a nice uh, quoter here, nice signature with your website, your position, social media. It makes you just seem more legit, helps with your branding and just being able to trust it instead of it just being a random bland email. But um, pure HTML or just simple emails I think work best. But why this uh, email has been having a really good open rate and response rate is because I'm not saying like, hey, I offer these services, these prices, blah, blah, blah. Like I get those emails like every day, like a dozen, and I just delete them instantly. Even if I'm kind of in need of the service, like it just comes off too spammy, copy and paste, and no one wants to be sold to. So the strategy for me is to start just kind of like ask a question, you know, uh, make it personable. And you know, if I always use their name, the subject line always involves their name. And I just asked a question, hey, would you be kind of telling me who's in charge of the blog, right? It's kind of open-ended. I'm not trying to sell anything. I might be trying to guest post. But the point is, it, it directs you to the right person. And that's when you can schedule a discovery call, which is where I would ask, you know, let's say the, you know, the content marketing lead with Mark. I could get Mark on the phone and I could talk about, you know, different ways they can improve their content, content calendar, and essentially just listen to any kind of problems they're having and then mix my content marketing services. because That's one of the things I do. And mix it into the, the conversation and see if there's kind of a fit. So overall, I'd say just try to like actually get your foot in the door. Don't try to sell right away. Just get that discovery call. And um, that's the big thing. So that's kind of my email marketing process and uh, what's worked for me lately. So I wanted to share that guys with you real quick. And I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.